Hey, it's Matt from McGee Farms, and we're towards the end of the year. It's December 24th, and I've done quite a few videos this year and wanted to kind of circle back on a few of them that we got to uh, kind of give updates, see what was good, what was bad, uh, what needs to be thrown in the trash and thrown out with this year. And uh, with this video, I'm just going to talk about this is the... Uh, Hycethra, I think is how it's uh, pronounced, uh, incubator. Uh, it's for 12 eggs. We bought this. Uh, only reason I really bought this is uh, we had one of the Mana Pro uh, incubators that was really phenomenal at first. The problem is after three to four hatches, we were done with the year. We put it up for the winter. We got it out the next year and nothing was hatching. Well, the turner was bad. And that was one of the uh, big pros was the, the way that it turned the eggs on the Mana Pro one. And I called the company and they would not sell me one. They said, well, if you're under warranty, we'll sell it to you, but you're a month out of warranty. So we don't have any. So your incubator's pretty much worthless. And I'm like, well, that's great customer service. But we had lost our peacock. We'd had 17 years and right like the day after we lost them, the hen started popping out eggs. So it's like, well, I'd really kind of like to uh, get some of his chicks. So real quick, I got on, found one. I'm like, well, an incubator is an incubator. I got this one. It's kind of a cheaper one. This thing is horrible. If you're looking at these on Amazon right now, and I'll put a link to it, but I'll put a link for you to avoid because, uh, yeah, do not buy this. First of all, it is loud. It's extremely loud. It does not have any way to uh, check the moisture on it. You've got to add moisture and you'll get it up to humidity where you want it. And then you walk back 20 minutes later and it's way down or it's way over in humidity. It's really hard to regulate in this. It's uh, anytime you open the lid, it beeps for about 30 seconds, which is annoying as hell. Uh, it also does not hold temperature good. It will fluctuate a degree or two, which with eggs, that, that can be a big difference. This thing, definitely junk. Do not buy one of these. I've got a couple others I have saved on my Amazon cart with uh, being Christmas. I figure, eh, I'm going to hold off till uh, after my next paycheck and, you know, be nice, get people Christmas gifts. So... Uh, I've got these other two that I think I'm going to order both of them and give them a shot because it's just a matter of time before, well, I mean, it's been warm enough. We've been getting eggs, but I don't like to hatch this time of year because Missouri tends to get really cold. But come probably about February or March, we're going to start with duck eggs. We're going to start with uh, chicken eggs. Hopefully we'll have some goose eggs, we'll have uh, peafowl eggs, we'll have guinea eggs. So we're going to be hatching all of those out. Uh, one to build our stock up a little bit, but also to sell. And uh, we do a lot of uh, uh, pheasant hunts and quail hunts. And that's something else we're looking into. We've got the new flight pen that we built this last year. And uh, when we're over there and they're the canned hunts where it's not the wild birds, it's hard to find wild birds anymore but where they raise them and then release them. There's usually a lot of eggs in those pens. So I'm looking into what it's gonna to take to uh, maybe get some eggs and try incubating them. I think we might try some turkey. I don't know, we got a lot of plans for this uh, upcoming summer. But one of the plans that we do have, well, all the plans we have does not involve this incubator. This is, uh, this is going in the trash. I, I, will, I will say one thing about it now. We started out with five peafowl eggs. Two of them exploded in here. One of them hatched, the rest did not. I put uh, three chicken eggs in. All three chicken eggs did hatch, so it did work for the chickenness. I put five turkey eggs in, nothing. Two of them exploded, none of them hatched. I put fe uh, yeah, pheasant eggs in here, nothing hatched. I think it was like 20, 18 pheasant eggs. Not one hatched. A bunch of them exploded. Uh, I think we tried some guinea eggs that we found too. Again, no hatches. So, I don't know. If you want something cheap maybe for chickens, well, hell, I'll give this to you as far as I'm concerned. You can have it. It's, uh, I'm not going to use it anymore. But 
Stay away from this. It's annoying. It doesn't work. Well, it barely works. I, I guess we did hatch a few eggs, but nothing like all the other incubators. So that's my review on it. I'm going to turn off the camera and, uh, like I said, probably go throw this in the trash because I have no use for it and it's just going to take up room. It's Matt from McGee Farms. If you like the videos, please consider giving us a thumbs up. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave us a comment. It's always appreciated and it helps the channel grow. Till next time, have a great day.